MicroStation Essentials, Place Hatch and Place Pattern. Patterns and hatches fill an area to give context to the role of an area. Patterns are either hatches or cross hatches of lines or a repeating cell. You can apply patterns to areas with holes and they can be associated to the boundary. So if the boundary changes, the pattern or hatch updates. You can control the display of patterns from the View Attributes dialog. Let's see how patterns and hatches work within MicroStation. If you have an area, you can use the pattern or hatch tool to fill it with lines or a cell. You'll find the patterns tool and hatch tools under the drawing task. If you select hatch area, you'll see that you have several options available to you, including the spacing between the hatch lines, the angle of the hatch lines, how close you get to the edge, which is the tolerance, associativity, and some other options as well, whether it's snappable or not. So once you've got your values, you can simply type in the appropriate values for spacing and angle. And in this case, I'm using the flood method, which looks for the, the boundary and automatically hatches that area for me. So this works rather nicely. becomes rather easy to fill in your hatches. You also have the ability of doing a cross hatch, which gives you spacing in two directions. and allows you to do the same thing here. Here you'll notice that you can have alternate spacing or you can do uniform spacing. So hatching is uh, and cross hatching very simple and straightforward to work with especially with the flood method. There are several other methods available to you, such as selecting an element. Here you need to actually select the element. There is a union, which will select two areas. An intersection, which will find the common area between two elements. And then the difference subtracting one from another. In addition, you also have things like pattern area. And pattern area allows you to apply a cell. So you can place it from a cell or from a file. You can go and select your cell from browsing your cells and then making your active cell pattern. Now you just need to choose your scale and again select the object of interest to hatch with your pattern cell. So, choosing different cell types here, you can see this is the, the grass cell type, <clears throat> showing us this area as being filled with grass. That's giving us a little bit of context to what that area's role is. You do have the ability of hatching around a hole. So if there's a hole in the middle of an area and you'd like to hatch around it, you do have the options at the by using your extended settings to look for an interior space and it will automatically hatch around that or pattern either way around that hole now if that hole is actually modified it actually does update as well as if you modify the boundary it'll automatically update In this case, you also have the ability to hatch around text. So 
so it'll it'll ignore the text and sort of wipe out the area behind the text allowing you to clearly read the text so patterns are used to fill an area to give context to that role of that area you can either use hatches cross hatches or repeating cells you can ignore interior spaces like holes and use associative boundaries finally you can use patterns to be turned on or off from your view attributes dialog